Okay, um, hello YouTubers, this is Skipazella. Um, look, today's going to be a video of a new program I found this morning. A video for Vista, as you know, you know, I'm at my sister's house watching her animals. Uh, she has an HP and Touchmart, both Vista. Um, well, a Touchmart is an HP too, but you know, one's a laptop, obviously, as I've said. Anywho, um, let me just make sure we're recording. I don't know any proof that we're recording. Oh, there it is, okay. So, uh, we are recording. Um, this is called Debut Video Capture. Um, or Debut, whatever, I don't know. Um, as many of you know, when you're familiar with Nico 6 for Vista, does not have, uh, webcam capture and support. So, um, I found, uh, Debut, um, Debut, whatever, uh, what did I just say, video capture. It also has a screen recorder, which I am using right now, so, uh, let's get into it. Um, this tab, start, you know, from right to left, this tab will switch to webcam and activate it, and you can record video from webcam. This will, um, activate the screen recorder. This will, uh, capture a picture of either the screen or the webcam, whatever that now. This will play and manage recordings in output folder. In other words, in other words um, whatever folder you set these files easily to, that's the output folder, and you'll see all the creations that you did once you start getting into this program. You have the options, and then you have the toolbox. Uh, that's just another add on. Then here you have your basics record, pause, and stop. And then here's your timer, and then here's your uh, microphone. Um, Give me like a, you know, give me a break on commenting saying this is too loud. I'm sorry, I, this isn't my computer, I do not have it set up. So, I mean, I have to do something past the time anyway. So, um, you know, just bear with it. I will be using this on my, uh, XP PC. Because it has, uh, both webcam recorder, you know, even an HD and everything else. So, uh, let's get to the options now. Uh, here's the main screen, by the way. Right here. So, um, now we have recording, you can see where the mouse is, and you have video capture device. Um, now this whole section of sound, uh, screen capture, uh, depending on what you set it to. If you set this, this is like, um, if you want to set DTL settings. If you set it to screen capture, you're just going to have to set the frame rate. If you set it to USB device, um, no, uh, screen capture device, you're going to set it to how many, three, uh, Frame rate, uh, rates, sorry, um, 64 by 4, uh, 480. Uh, it, it can go up to 720i, um, 12, uh, 128, you know, HD standards and everything like that. Um, this is just your sound. If you want to capture the sound from your, um, from your uh, mic, you can do it from computer. So, you know, that's kind of a downer. Um, you have, uh, lit recording time. In other words, you can, um, oh, wait, wait, so you can just set this for 11 minutes, and it'll stop, or, down here, it'll stop recording, or, it'll go, uh, create a new file, which is very, uh, effective, actually, because, I mean, this is why I'm not, shut up, the uh, quiet, yeah, it's always here too. This is why I'm going to start using it. And then you have, um, launch, recording style when not, when it's not working. Or recording, rather. Now, this is where I showed you the button that it'll show up all the, um, recordings that you've done. Um, uh, in that one specific folder where you set it. And then, like many others, this will minimize it when you start, um, screen recording. Or screen capture. I'm just going to say whatever it is. You know, I'm not even going to worry about technicalities. So this is the general tab. Output. You have your um, file types. You can choose from AVI, WMV, AXF, I believe those, MPG, 3PG, MP4, MOV, and FLV. Um, then you have your encoder settings. I really don't want to play with them live because I'm recording, so I don't want to screw this video up. Here's your uh, destination folder. This has a lot to do with uh, this over here. 
Um, so mine says desktop, so when it's done, it'll show me all the videos on the desktop that I'm done recording this. Um, next you have your um, output file name. Um, you can either have it prompt for a file name before you start recording or it'll set whatever you want to set here. I'm going to leave it on this just because I like getting through the file name before instead of having 10 million of these. You know, so it's too many of these, but it's not that big of a deal. Then you have uh, transmit. Now, I mean, this could. Um, email the video or uh, upload it to a site after you've done recording. So, uh, maybe that's what the old list is for. I haven't had a chance to try it out. I might. I wish YouTube had something like this too. Run external exe. So, uh, you know, it would be nice if. You will be able to do it on YouTube. I don't think you could though, because I don't YouTube has an FTP server. Uh, next you have general. Oh, I'm sorry, this is record, this is general. So, anyway, you have tone. Um, it'll play tone when you start and stop. And then this is, uh, it'll play tone every 30 seconds to let you know, um, how long the video is. I actually might set it to every 60, so I don't know how many minutes it is, so I can keep track of it. No time for in the video. I don't know. I hope so. Not. So I'll try that out later. And um, this is just your startup. You know, start up and start recording when the computer starts, or start recording on that every one day it runs, and then uh, load disk warning. Uh, this is if you have a big heart, a small hard drive. That, that only will apply to that. Then you have a hotkey. You know, you see, I've already set some up as I would with uh, Cam Studio. Um, F8 for record, F9 for pause, F10 for, oh yeah, yeah, okay, F9 for stop, F10 for pause. And if you want to it asks you to enter a key, let's just say enter A, okay. And you have the options of pause, start new recording, stop, um, open the recorded list, that little list that shows you all the videos, and then you have a snapshot, which, I should set that now. Hold on. Let me change the key. I'm going to set it to F11. Okay. And I will hit hard to hit the key that you want. And there you go. I have snapshot set up. And that's it. That's essentially the program. Whether you can help with this, I don't know. Let me see. You can send blog reports, sign up to newsletters, install related tools, check for updated version. You have some other programs that they'll give you. I don't know if they'll give it to you, but you, this is great for Vista. This is really great if you don't have a, a capture device. I don't have it already, so eight minutes. So um, this was the new of the debut video capture software. Um, literally, that's what it's called. Um, I have no idea what this is. If anyone uses this, could you tell me? Select the desktop rectangle for capture. Now, I don't know, can someone, whoever uses this, if I don't know to, please, if you use this, let me know what that's for. Is there any way I want to select the window? Um, yeah, so just let me know about that real quick, uh, if anyone has this. Uh, don't guess, please. I don't want to see any. Oh, I guess. I think. No. Alright, so, um, that's it. Um, we're going to give this program. Well, you know what the hell with it. I'm going to give it a nice 10 out of 10. Great program. It does what it does. It doesn't have any bells and whistles. Um, as you can see, it's a clear view of my, of my monitor. So, you know, I'm happy with it. And that's the end of that chapter. So, this is, uh, <laughs> sorry. So, uh, this was Skip Zoa with the, um, debut video capture software. It also does, a uh, webcam, which is great for Vista peoples. Um, and speaking of which, I hate Vista. Just so you know, I hate Vista. This is not my computer. I hate Vista. Vista can go die. Alright. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, most of all, importantly, purr.